Hello, and welcome to the exciting world of mechanics for special effects makeup and mechanical puppetry. My name is Steve Kelman, and I'll be your guide through this tape. To begin with, I'd like to let you know that I'm not a professional speaker, and this isn't a fancy Hollywood production. Let's move on to our next segment, which just happens to be one of my favorites, building eye mechanisms. We didn't produce this tape to show off fancy production skills. We produced it to teach you how to build impressive, exciting mechanics for your special makeup, mask, or mechanical puppet. And the first thing you'll have to decide is what you're going to use for the actual eyeball. Plain old ping pong balls, plastic wiffle balls in varying sizes, plastic shifter knobs, porcelain doorknobs, wooden doorknobs, and my personal favorite, the roll-on balls off the top of deodorant and lip gloss bottles. The next decision you'll have to make is how you'll be mounting your eyes. I'd like to be able to say you can use everything but the kitchen sink, but that's not true. The fact is, you could probably find a way to use the kitchen sink as well, and I mean that literally. What you have to do is break the habit of using things for what they're intended for. This unit was made with a cheese slicer and two ping pong balls. Now, let's move on to building our first mechanical head. When planning this first head that we're going to build, the first thing I did was fill out a design sheet like the one we looked at earlier in the video. On it, I listed all the features that I wanted this head to have. I found this to be a very good sculpt. After I constructed the eyes, I had to modify the plastic skull in order to hold them. I hope those close-ups helped you to better understand how we built this head, and I also hope they help you in building a head like this of your own. A head like this can be very easy to build. This whole head only cost about $35 to put together. Well, that just about wraps it up for Volume 1 of Mechanics for Special Effects Makeup and Mechanical Puppetry. But before I say goodbye, there's a few last things I'd like to show you.